Hey everyone, it's Pastor Philip, and I'm so glad to be with you on this Wednesday for our uh, devotional. And uh, I just wanted to touch base on what uh, we've been talking about with our Faith Work series. And, and Pastor Rachel did a wonderful job in uh, talking about the first part of James chapter 2. And I just wanted to touch on two things about the book of James that might help us, especially as we move in to this section of James. Uh, James chapter 2 starts 12 teachings about the wholehearted devotion to Jesus. And uh, we start with, of course, the one that uh, Pastor Rachel talked about this week, favoritism over love, uh, and uh, while, how we need to choose love instead of favoritism, uh, that mercy uh, triumphs over judgment. Uh, and it, it was she, if you haven't seen, heard that sermon yet, it's beautifully uh, said and written, and, and it will be helpful to your heart. But uh, it's interesting that these are 12 teachings and they kind of stand alone. And what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, it seems that we need to be reminded that James or even um, it's sometimes translated Jacob uh, was Jesus's half brother and grew up with Jesus. And so we need to be reminded that that James really is experiencing uh, two things uh, heavily. He was heavily uh, involved and understood and heard uh, the Sermon on the Mount. Maybe not just even the Sermon on the Mount as it uh, was unfolded in the book of Matthew, but all the talks and the behind the scenes stuff that led to the Sermon on the Mount. That understanding of the kingdom of God on earth. James really had an understanding of what Jesus meant by those things. The second thing is that James really seems to be um, understanding the wisdom literature of the Proverbs. Proverbs 1 through 9 especially, where it's these short clips of of, of what does it mean to be wise? You're going to see this kind of idea kind of flow through the whole book of James and kind of read it as wisdom literature. James has some very instructive, very important, uh, very wise things to say to us. And if we will take them to heart in that way, and we will say, what does this section, what does this small section say to me? What does the section about favoritism over love say to me? Am I showing favoritism to one group over another? Am I showing that, that some people and some groups are more important to me than other groups? If that is true, then this wisdom can help you to show that mercy always triumphs over judgment, that we can be... Uh, holy as God is holy if we choose not to have favorites. And so it's one of those really important things. So, but I really want you to see that these things were very important, not just to James, but they must have been important to Jesus because James was so close to Jesus. I hope that this helps you as you kind of get a full picture of the, uh, of chapters two through five as we move forward. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.